Hey everyone, I'm Marina from the Firebase team. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started with Firebase AI logic to bring powerful generative AI features into your Android app. My team and I have built a meal planning app that I'm going to use to demonstrate this. It's called Friendly Meals, and here it is. On the home screen, you see two fields. One where the user can write a list of ingredients that they have at home, and another one where they can specify preferences like cuisines, for example, and dietary restrictions. In the ingredients input field, I'm going to add a list of ingredients that I know are sitting in my fridge right now. And I'm going to add a note that I'd like to have an Italian recipe for dinner tonight. Now I can click on the Generate Recipe button, and that will trigger a call to Firebase AI Logic to create a delicious recipe that follows all the specifications written by me. Cool. Now that you're familiar with the app, the next question you might be asking is, what exactly is Firebase AI Logic? Simply put, Firebase AI Logic is a Firebase product that provides access to powerful generative AI models like Gemini and Imagine, which can understand and generate text, images, and more. It offers client-side SDKs that make it simple to make calls to these models directly from your mobile and web apps. Firebase AI Logic is also designed to keep your app secure, handling things like API key security for you when you use Firebase App Check. If you want to learn more about Firebase AI Logic, what APIs we support and what you can do with them, watch this video right here. Now, before we can start writing code, there are a few setup steps we'll need to complete. First, we need to make sure that we have a Firebase project. I won't cover how to do that in this video, but you can learn how to create a Firebase project and connect an Android app to it by checking out our Get Started with Firebase on Android video, linked in the description below. Now that we have our Firebase project ready and have registered an Android app to it, we need to enable Firebase AI Logic for our project. To do so, we navigate to the Firebase AI Logic page and click on Get Started. I'm going to use the Gemini Developer API for this video, which doesn't require upfront payment information. But if you choose to use the Vertex AI Gemini API instead, you'll be asked to upgrade your billing plan to Blaze. But don't worry, we won't charge you for anything at this moment. You only pay when you start making calls to the API. Take a look at this documentation if you want to understand pricing in more detail. Once you finish enabling Firebase AI Logic in the console, the next step is to add the Firebase AI Logic dependencies to your Android app. Open your app level build Gradle file. If you followed the steps in the Get Started video, you probably already have the Firebase bill of materials in your dependencies. So all you have to do now is make sure you're on the latest version, add the Firebase AI Logic dependency, and sync with Gradle files. And that's it for the setup. Now you're ready to write some Kotlin code and interact with Gemini. First, we get an instance of Firebase.ai and then specify the model we want to use by calling the generative model function. For this example, I'm using Gemini 2.5 Flash, but you can choose the model that fits your needs best. To learn more about the supported models, take a look at the Firebase documentation, where we explain all models available for various use cases, as well as their quotas and pricing. You can also customize the generation by providing a generation config object for things like temperature or max output tokens and safety settings to control harmful content. It's also important to say that if you want to use the Vertex AI Gemini API, you need to specify the generative backend when you create a generative model instance. If you don't specify a generative backend, it will use Google AI by default. Now we can write a function to generate a recipe from a list of ingredients and user preferences. The functions in this SDK are suspend functions, so you need to call them within a current scope. Doing so ensures that API calls execute asynchronously, preventing them from blocking other operations such as UI updates, which are important for keeping the UI running smoothly. In the context of this app, for example, you want to give the user a visual cue that a recipe is being generated. So here's how we generate a recipe. First, we create a prompt to string and add the list of ingredients typed by the user through string interpolation. Since we also allow the user to submit their preferences and any dietary restrictions via a free form input field, we need to check if there are any and, if so, add them to the prompt as well. Once we have our prompt, we can call generative model.generateContent and pass the prompt as an argument. And once the model returns the generated recipe, we can read it using response.text. And there you go. 
In just a few minutes, you were able to start building with AI with Firebase AI logic. All of the code you saw in this video is based on the Firebase documentation, so definitely check that out. I'll leave all the links mentioned in this video in the description below. And if you're interested in adding more AI features to your app, like image generation, bidirectional streaming, and multi-turn chat, subscribe to this channel, as we'll be publishing more Firebase AI logic tutorials for mobile and web apps soon. Thanks for watching and happy coding.